Oh, we're just about a week away from sea day and getting to look a lot like Christmas around here. And I'm not sure what Sherry has up her sleeve. All we know is that's quite a spread she has over there. Parking is poised and ready to pounce. So we need to find out what's going on. Sherry, what do you have for us this morning? What she has up her sleeve is a couple of big guns. Look at these things. <laughs> well, it's holiday time. And uh, we have to entertain sometimes, or we have to bring things to other people's places sometimes. And, you know, some people will just grab something at the store. It's not very much fun. And plus, you're going to end up with something unhealthy usually, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. It's potluck season. You, you hit it on the, the nail on the head. And the thing is, it causes a lot of stress for people, but it really doesn't have to. So I'm going to tell you some of the secrets that I have, because I get invited to a lot of potlucks. And the kind of the pressure's on me. I, you know, I deal in food, and everybody wants to see what I'm going to bring. Right, yeah. So, so the first thing I do is I don't succumb to the pressure of that to be impressive it has to be grandiose that I have to take four days to make it that it has to cost me a million dollars and that you know it's it, that it has to be precisely at the right temperature and all that that's insane so what I do is <laughs> I, yeah, I, I agree do, I do t tried and tested and true recipes things that I know that people are gonna like and the other thing that I do is I make sure that they're presented in a way that makes it look festive because we eat with our eyes as right. you know so what I want to do is I want to first tell you that the, one of the neatest things that you can do is make your stuff look good. And you can make your stuff look good by the way that you serve it. So if you look at some of the serving pieces that I have going on here, there's a two-tiered tray here, and I'll tell you what's on here in just a moment. Okay. But this is inexpensive. This is like we're talking Goodwill, and so you're doing a good thing. You buy a Goodwill, maybe $3. Cool, cool yeah. So yeah, and it's, it's neat. Nice. And that way, if I'm at the party and there's still things on it and I get ready to leave and I leave it there, mm. oh, well, whatever. Yes. I'm about Enjoy. three bucks, yeah. exactly. Then there's other dishes and things like that. This, this is actually made for muffins or cookies, and I just put ornaments in it and then use it as a presentation piece for uh, for some healthy fruit. Really easy to do, a really cute little fruit salad that we can dress up with a oh, shot I love it when you dress things of up. I thought you would. So you can have a little taste of that. You All know, right. I know you enjoy that. Um, so any number of things. I like to add height to the table. I like to add color to the table. I like to have things look really nice. So that's the first key. The second key, as I said, pick an easy recipe and then think about how you're going to transport it. Make sure that okay. it's something that's it's not going to you're not going to take a souffle. It's going to fall and all those kinds of things. Right. So let me give you the lay of the land. What you're eating is simply cut up fruit. I put it in a little tiny serving dish because nobody's going to buy or take a, a, at the off the buffet table a big bowl. Right. They want a little kind of a hand little thing. Put the frangelico on it. Boom, we're done. It's impressive. It's really good. healthy. It's really tasty. It's impressive, and you know you're going to hit all of the guests mm -hmm. because the other thing that I keep in mind is who's going to be at the party. There'll be some people that can't have certain things. There's people that have chosen to be vegan or whatever. So we, I want to make sure that I'm hitting the high notes. So, for example, those look like meatballs. They do. They're a lot not like meatballs. And I know from having uh, known you for a long time that there are probably nuts in here that there, are ground up. Yep, you got it. Quite a bit of seasonings. So you can give that a taste if you're so inclined. Well, I, I am. And I did bring you a napkin just in case mm. you need that. You do know me. So what I did here is, oh, isn't that great? It is great. It's walnuts, pine nuts, some basil, sun-dried tomatoes, really healthy, good stuff, easy to do. Took me probably 20 minutes to put together. No problem. What I also did was I took that, that was in the dehydrator for maybe two hours. Oh. I took the same pate that I made the meat meatballs with, put it into endive, boom. Completely different appetizer. It's really the same thing. Um, so this, you put them in, in the ball shape, in the dehydrator for a couple hours. For two hours. And then you use the rest of it. And, and this is, you said endive. I'm That's not familiar with that, which surprises no one. It's just a little lettuce leaf. Go ahead. You can knock yourself out. Little lettuce leaf. Put in the raw um, the ingredients for the for the meatballs, oh. and then I just put some um, sprouts on the top to give it some depth and dimension. Mm -hmm. So this is really looks like I brought two different things. I brought one thing and presented it differently. Super healthy too. Super healthy, super super easy to do. Twenty minutes of prep time, no big deal. And very good. Um, over here, we've got some desserts. Not a surprise to anybody. You know no. I've got to have those. You know I'm a big fan of making chocolate sauce. Simple, simple to do. It's not hard, right? The it's not hard. It. Three ingredients. I use chocolate, a sweetener. I usually use grade B maple syrup. And then I'll use a fat, which is typically an almond butter. Okay. That's all there is. You said grade B maple syrup? Grade B maple syrup, and I use that because it's more delicious and it takes less to make it good. What's the difference between, I assume, grade A and grade B? Grade B is less refined. 
Okay. And you're going to enjoy that because that's a grade B maple mm. syrup, a really good chocolate. Those three ingredients come together to make a beautiful chocolate dip for strawberries. It also can become frosting for flourless wow. chocolate brownies. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to do one thing and have it do double duty. If I have two potlucks in a row, and I don't want people to think I bring the same thing to every potluck, I bring my chocolate sauce in a different incarnation the next night. And you said flourless, so is this uh, for people that are gluten? Flourless, yes. These brownies are for people who are gluten. <laughs> You're gonna be a chocolate mess when we're done with this That's segment. Right. <laughs> uh, gluten-free, yeah. sugar-free, dairy-free. Mm -hmm. That is also made with nuts. You can use walnuts or pecans, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of chocolate powder in that too. So you see again, I'm not going to the store and buying a ton of ingredients. I'm just buying a few things. And that's better than most candy bars. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I know. I knew most. you would. <laughs> not all. Most. <laughs> many. I mean, many. that's really good. <laughs> and then finally, there are going to be a lot of people who do want to do the stop by the store type of thing. Mm -hmm. Once again, the, the crudite tray, vegetables, always a good thing to bring. Put it on something attractive. This is a nice long kind of a, con uh, a serving piece. I put some lettuce down on the top of it so that my vegetables aren't touching the metal on the tray. And now I've got three different dips or dressings that were very simple. Guacamole, most people know how to make. That's very healthy. Most people won't have an issue with it. What, now what did you put in your guacamole? I use um, cilantro, obviously avocados, a little bit of lime juice, um, garlic, onion. I don't do tomatoes in mine. Okay. Some people do. Okay, so pretty ba pretty easy, really. Pretty easy. Olive tapenade, which is olives, sun-dried tomatoes, basil. Again, we've got a theme going on, so I'm right. using repeating ingredients. And then this one has this uh, is a sweet miso, which has the grade B maple syrup that I used over here, some miso and tahini. And then I just buy some organic vegetables. And they all look good. And, you know, anywhere you show up with this, people are going to be grateful you brought it because it, it tastes good and it looks awesome. Too, and it's on, healthy, on easy, to, and I didn't spend a fortune. So let's don't be intimidated by uh, potluck invitations, and let's just make sure we do a good job. And one of the messages that you've been consistent with is is that you know, obviously we want to eat healthy. You, you uh, are a proponent of, of raw eating and certainly of being a, a vegan, but. Don't kill yourself uh, during the holidays if you right. let yourself go a little bit and have a treat, right? Exactly. Please, it's the holidays. Let's celebrate. Just, just balance. And here's the thing: what I that I would do if I were at a potluck, I would start with the things that I know are healthy. So I get some good vegetables in, I have some fruit, and then you can knock yourself out with the other things. But the good news is the space in your belly has been taken up a little bit by the healthy stuff. And very healthy stuff. You know, there's a shadow looming over me from the left right now, and I think <laughs> someone's going to join us. Jackie, do you have any comments or questions about uh, any of this at all? No. Okay. Well, uh, go ahead and dig in and enjoy. And Sherry, I assume, uh, you know, there are people at home that want to know how you did all this. Uh, can they find out uh, where and, and how you did it? Absolutely. Well, first of all, let me invite people to send me emails. I've been getting um, suggestions and recommendations and requests all season. And, and I want to say, people watch this not just here, but no. all over the country. You get letters and emails from everywhere. We've gotten people outside of the U.S. I've got uh, followers in London um, and also in Australia. So I so hello to those viewers who are <laughs> who are watching it on YouTube, and I appreciate your um, your input as well. So yeah, recipes you can write to me anytime at info at fork-road.com and visit the website, which is www.fork-road.com. Sherry, as always, thanks for bringing all your goodies, and you know I learn something new every time uh, you come here. Happy holidays. And if I don't see you, have a Merry Salute. Christmas. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back as a great day rolls on. Stay tuned right here on KCWI 23.